Okay, in this lesson, we are going to learn about converting to different prefixes. Sometimes you are required to convert from one prefix to another, and it is easy if you know the ratio. For example, if you know that one kilometer is to 1,000 meters, uh, convert 50 kilometers to uh, meter will be a simple matter of just multiply by 1,000. So uh, 50 kilometers is equal to 50,000 uh, meters. Or if you want to convert to 50 meters to one, uh, how many kilometers? You simply just did 50 um, divide by 1,000. So 50, you jump three space one two three, and it is 0 0.05 uh, kilometer. Okay, so pretty easy. But however, what if it is something that you are not very familiar with? Okay, the prefix, even though the ratio may be the same. For example, if you want to convert 50 nanometers into micrometer or 50 micrometer back to nanometers. Okay, so you find that um, if you are not very familiar with the ratio, it can be quite a challenge. Or if you want to convert 8 gigawatts into kilowatts or 80 kilowatts back into uh, megawatts. So we are going to just show you a general method uh, non-mathematically in terms of conversion. So the general method is to know what the various prefix means in the standard form. Okay, this is actually help you to know how many decimal places you need to move in order to for you to convert. Then uh, after knowing that, you need to convert the first prefix number back to its original number. And then after that, convert the original number back to the required prefix. So if let's say you are required to convert uh, micrometer to uh, nanometer. So first of all, you need to convert the micrometer into the original number, and then after that, you convert back into the nanometer uh, in nanometer form. So this is the flow chart. Okay, you need to convert uh, the prefix to the original number, but you have a decision point whether it's a big or small prefix. Okay, big prefix means that it is. Uh, kilometers, okay, or for example, kilometer, okay, or small prefix means that it's, let's say uh, something that's smaller, that's millimeter or micrometer or nanometer. Okay, so with small prefix, you move your decimal place towards the left, and for big prefix, your decimal place you need to move towards the right. Then after that, after you convert back to the original number, uh, then you need to convert to the required prefix. So same. And again, you need a decision point. Mm, if you convert the original number back to the required prefix, it can be big or small. Okay, same decision point. So if it's a small prefix, then you need to move back right. Okay, that means that, for example, if you merely convert back into micro, you need to move right first. Uh, sorry, move left first, then you move right. Okay. Or if it's a brick prefix, let's say a uh, millimeter, you want to convert to kilometer, you need to move uh, left and then further left. Okay, same thing. Okay, if it's a, a small prefix, you need to move the decimal towards the right. So, for example, a uh, kilometer. Uh, in this case, you move towards the right and then convert into a uh, micrometer. You need to move again towards the right. But if it's kilometer, we move towards the right. Then after that, if it's a big prefix, convert into um, giga. Okay, for, then you need to move towards the left. Okay. So um, you can refer back to this flow chart in the lesson. Okay, but I'll do some actual questions. So converting prefix. Okay, uh, I'll use this example: 50 nanometer into micrometer. So nano is a small. Okay, and then micrometer is also small. Okay, so you can refer back to a flowchart which way you need to move. Okay. First of all, of course, we need to know that nanometer is actually times 10 to the power negative 9. So what does it mean? So it means that at 50, you need to move 9 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, to convert to its original number. So move towards the left. Okay, so it is zero point. Okay, there are many, many zeros here. Okay, so this is the original number. Okay, 
And then after that, you need to convert back into micrometer, which is to 10 to the power of negative 6. So in order to convert back to the micrometer, you need to then move your decimal place back towards the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what happens is that you are left with this number, which is uh, 0 0.050. Okay, now yeah, this is the same. So that means that your 50 nanometer is actually just 0 0.05 micrometer. Okay, so if you have a 50 micrometer convert to nanometer, you find that it's exactly the same uh, steps wise. So in this case, you need to move towards the left six times one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's 0 0.00005. And then since you are supposed to convert back to nanometer, you have to move nine times. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9. So your decimal place is over here. So you are left with this number which is 50,000. So again, you are, uh, in this case, 50 micrometer means that it is 50,000 nanometer. What about big prefixes? Okay, so you find that big prefixes um, is exactly the same method. Convert back to the original number, then convert back to the uh, required prefix. Just only that for big numbers, or uh, sorry, big prefix, you need to jump towards the right first. So in this case, you need to jump eight times. Okay, sorry, nine times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have this huge number. Okay, nine times towards the right. And then kilo is actually times 10 to the power of three. So in this case, you have to move towards the left. Okay convert back one two three so you are left with this uh, number which is actually a one two three four five six six zeros so in this case six zeros or eight million and thus eight gigawatt is actually eight million kilowatts okay the last example is to convert 80 kilowatts into megawatts so 80 kilowatts means 80,000 times 80 times 10 to the power of 3 so multiply, uh, move three right towards right, one, two, three, so it's 80,000. And megawatts means that's the six to the power six, so you need to move right, uh, sorry, left. Okay, six times one, two, three, four, five, six, so you're left with 0 0.08. So in this case, 80 kilowatt is 0 0.08 megawatt. Okay, some practice for you. 0 0.002002 in milliseconds. Okay, you may pause the video. Answers in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, next one. You may pause the video. Answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last one. A bit challenging. Okay, but try. Okay, pause video. Answer in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so this is the end of today's lesson. Okay, next lesson we will go into how to use mathematical method. Okay. Please subscribe and support my channel for my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics. Please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.